until she adapted to her own disability. Somehow she willed herself to move. My friend couldn't afford to take her to the vet, so he was going to take her back to the shelter. I knew that they would just put her down, so I, I told him that, you know, I'd take her to the vet. When I got her, you know, I made a promise to her that I wouldn't give up on her until she gave up. Rat lungworm is a lot like MS. It's a, you know, neurological disease. We thought she might last maybe, you know, three years or so, but she's, she's about ready to turn eight. She's, like, outlived all the expectations. She walks on her heels, on the front, and not on her paw. And so that's just a way that she figured out how to get herself mobile. She's like deceptively fast for a slow dog. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty deadly within five feet. <laughs> we have a coffee farm and we call her like the hardest working dog on the coffee farm. Whenever someone's here working in the orchard or I'm out in the orchard, she's always out there watching and people are picking coffee. Our other four dogs like to eat coffee, so she'll guard the coffee and keep them from eating it. When we have people coming and they get their baskets, you know, their equipment to go out to the orchard, she knows it and she stares at them and then she just follows them and she's like really focused. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure which row I was on or where I should go next, but for whatever reason, Hazel knows. So I look around and she will be at the next tree and she's always at the one that has the most red cherries. So she's kind of like the beacon that tells you where to go. We're not sure why she's so into working in the orchard. These coffee trees, they go through a lot. We have some harsh environments here, and regardless of what's happening on the weather, at the end of the day, they are still standing. And maybe that's what she identifies with, you know, at some basic level. She's just a real star. She's a very serious dog, I think, you know? <laughs> she's very focused. Despite her disability, she has this amazing resiliency and her stubbornness that not giving up on herself. She's never really known anything Yeah, anything else. else. She's friendly with everybody. She's curious and she likes being petted and such. Even though she doesn't talk, she pretty much has told us what she wants. So we just kind of have, over the years, acquiesced to whatever she wants. <laughs> she definitely loves life. Yeah. You, know, you can tell. You know, she's, she's been a real inspiration for me, I think for both of us. She really gives back, you know, way more than the effort we put in 